Purdue Convocations, he is teaming up with the Longsetter Theater Organ Society to present the 1927 silent movie classic Metropolis. Tonight's performance features an original score by organist Clark Wilson, who joins us in the studio this afternoon. Mr. Wilson, thanks so much for coming in. Great to see you. It's a great pleasure. In the intro, I said original score, but uh, not so much, right, I guess? What I will do tonight is based on the original Gottfried Huppert score that came out with the film in 1927. He utilized 19 themes throughout for the different characters and the different situations. Since that score was written for 60-piece orchestra, uh, I'll yeah. do the best I can with that. Uh, but we'll, we will use those themes and hopefully keep the, the, the feel of the film intact with that. Newsweek called Metropolis perhaps one of the most influential science fiction movies ever made. Tell us about the film. What, what's it about? And it's got a kind of a dark feel, doesn't it? It's German cinema. It is German cinema. Uh, it's a futuristic film, although everything is steam-powered, that takes place in 2026. And there is a great division between the people that run the world, that live uh, um, in their high offices and towers and, and buildings, and the people who actually make the world function, who live below ground. And the whole, uh, the whole, the whole premise of the film is that there needs to be a mediator between these two so that there is not a class riot, actually. And that does happen in the film. There is a riot. They tear apart the machines. The city floods. It's quite spectacular. Yeah, it sounds cool. Uh, now, this is an updated version of what was seen in 1927. This is the 2001 restoration. Uh, the film was almost two hours and 40 minutes long originally as it was uh, premiered in Germany. But when it came to this country, Actually, by the, uh, the film companies and the distributors, it was chopped down to be, quote-unquote, more saleable, yeah. uh, down to about maybe 80 minutes. And so over the years, there have been many different versions appear of this, but none of them complete. They assembled in 2001 all of the remaining known parts of this film and filled in the blanks with explanations and title cards so that you would be able to uh, piece the entire original story back together. So it is the original story as was planned. Now when you sat down to write this score, uh, what was that like? That had to be kind of an experience. Well, on a film like this where there is an original score in existence, it's incumbent on you to try to utilize that if you want to uh, do some sort of an historic performance. And it's, it's much more exacting than if you get a film that there's nothing in existence for and you just say, okay, let's pick whatever music we can that will be appropriate. So. Uh, I was fortunate in being able to come across somebody who had a copy of most of the original score that allowed me to use that and then put it together. But in this DVD age that we're in now, we're very fortunate that we can watch the film over and over and over, as opposed to the old days where maybe you saw it once before you actually played it. And try to get it right. All right, Metropolis uh, at Elliott Hall of Music. It's 8 o'clock tonight. Clark Wilson will be hitting the keyboards on the uh, theater organ at Elliott Hall of Music. Tickets still available. Come on out and have a great time. It sounds like a great time. We should have fun. Thanks so much for coming in, Clark. Thank Good you.